Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel, and today I'll be reading Malta Character Exterior by me, so let's get into it. Sino. Sino had more manners than this. He was really polite and considerate. So, he wouldn't just do that for no reason, or any reason at all. There was nothing that could justify it. He'd be mad if anyone else did it. And he sees the fact that you were his girlfriend as not an excuse, but more of a reason not to do it and respect your own boundaries. So you really wouldn't have minded. Regardless, the only reason he ends up looking at your skirt is because it's an accident. He's looking at something, and that's why he was on the floor, looking for a pen that he dropped. And when he looks up, it just so happens that he looks up your skirt. Since you're standing only a few feet away from him, he goes red, turning away as fast as he can. And when you turn around at the feeling of someone staring at you, just for a moment, you actually see him turning the other way around. You don't actually think he looked at you, but still, for the rest of the day, he's kind of nervous to talk to you, and avoids you at all costs. Child. Child's actually more of a... Well, I'm gonna be blunt about it, he's a pervert. He does not mind looking up your skirt, and probably will, present it with the right opportunity, which he wants right now. You were bending over to get something, and child took his chance to look up your skirt. And then he smirked, smiling, before slapping your ass, making you blush brightly and squeak. Child, what the hell are you doing? The smirk only gets bigger. You look amazing, darling. Can you blame me? Oh, of course I'll blame you. You're such a pervert, you know that? I guess so. But you're my girlfriend. So am I really a pervert for looking at you? Yes. In fact, you're the most pervert person I've ever seen. Seriously, child. You should manage yourself better. I criticized him. Pouting. While well, he just kissed you softly. Telling you that if you want him to manage himself better, then perhaps you should stop looking so pretty. Honestly, it was such a tease, but he knew what to say, just to get himself out of trouble every time. He was like that, but it served him right, and it helped him a lot. Albedo. Albedo actually did this on purpose. He might not be like he seems sometimes. He seems polite and considerate, like he would never do such a thing. But he might. And the only proof is that he actually did it. But you only noticed because he was staring a little bit too long. You were doing something at the table, and from his seat, albeit it just bent down a little bit to look up your skirt. And he kept staring and staring, completely shameless. Honestly, Albedo. If you were staring at someone like that, at least try to hide it. And when you turned around and saw him, he blushed brightly, going red. Albedo? What are you doing? He cleared his throat, sitting up. Nothing. I was grabbing my pencil. And it wasn't like you had anything else to prove. You really thought you wouldn't do this. So you just nodded with a red face. Still feeling like he was staring at you, but... Knowing that you wouldn't be able to say anything against that. So you continued working on whatever you were working on. And Albedo just smirked himself. He knew what you were feeling. And he was going to keep toying with you like this. Until he was caught in the act. Venti. Venti is actually such a sweetheart. But that does not mean that he is not going to look up your skirt. Because he will. Sometimes he's just like that. And... Even as unpredictable as he was, it was kind of the reason you wore long skirts, at least later on. But right now you didn't know this. You had no idea he would do this at all. He just didn't seem like that kind of person, you know. And fair enough, he didn't. And as you wore this short skirt, you really thought it was too short. But you didn't worry about it. Wrongfully. That's why... When he thought you weren't looking or wouldn't notice, he's tried to look up your skirt. And of course he did. It wasn't like his giggle wasn't noticeable. And when he turned back around to see what he was laughing at, you honestly wished you didn't. Because then, 
He was just laughing even more. Giggling at you. Bunty, do you have no shame at all? Yeah, sorry. But I don't. He laughed even harder. And he resisted the urge to punch him in the face. It would be endearing any other day. But right now you are kind of mad at him. Scaramouche. Scaramouche would not look up your scared on purpose at all. He is too shy for that, and he also does not think like most people. He is not perverted in any way. At all. So, it really just wouldn't happen. Probably the only reason it happens is an accident. He's... Well, he doesn't actually mean to see anything. But... You are the one who bent down. And accidentally, he happened to catch that. He didn't mean to look up your skirt at all, but it was too short that it ended up showing. Just with you leaning down, and it would go right red, trying to focus on anything else. And we turn back around, just to look at him and talk to him normally. He's kind of acting weird, blushing and not looking at you, completely distracted even when we tried to talk to him multiple times. Eventually, you just sit on letting it go and not talking to him for a while. Maybe he's not up for it. But that's really not the reason. He's just super embarrassed. And he needs some time to cool off. So, let him be. He will come back around eventually, of course. So there's no reason to worry about him. Donnery. Donnery is really, really sweet. Most of the time. And he's not perverted at all. But perhaps there were some temptations in someone's mind, and sometimes people couldn't help themselves but give in to those temptations. And Donnery was only a human after all. So he couldn't help himself not give in to those words that kept circling through his mind, those thoughts that were going to be the end of him one day. So eventually he gave in to the curiosity within him. So when he looked up your skirt, and quickly looked away because, well, he's a little bit ashamed of himself. Thankfully, though, you don't notice, and he does get away with it. But he does get that feeling of guilt whenever he looks at you for the rest of the day. And it goes away soon. Little does he know that you noticed, but you are not going to say anything about it, because you didn't want to embarrass him further.